Today I'm checking out a MixM2, the new mixed media plugin by Fredpill. This update goes crazy, more effects, more control, and a way smoother workflow. If you're into glitch, analog vibes, textures, or those cinematic mixed media looks, this plugin pretty much does it all with just a few clicks. With the link in the description, you can grab this plugin with a $5 discount. Honestly, MXM2 feels like it opens a whole new world for editors, the kind of tool that changes the way you build mixed media looks. Let me show you how it works. First, open MXM2, and then select the composition you want to apply the effect to. After that, just hit the launcher button. That's where everything starts. When you click on the MXM logo, you can quickly check the before and after of your edit. You also get an option to choose your control device, whether you're using a mouse or a trackpad. And if anything gets messy, you can always reset everything back to default with one click. Now we're inside the main panel of the Plugin, and yeah, it's packed with options. When you click on Source, you enter the Texture and Bass Effect section. Here you can check and tweak your top layers and bottom layers, and there are tons of textures and papers you can choose from. You can also turn on or off things like noise, RGB split, chroma, and ink bleed. Each one adds its own detail and personality to your image. And down here, with the knobs, you can adjust your exposure, saturation, and contrast. It's basically your quick control area for shaping the look before you add the heavier effects. Now let's hit the back button and return to the main panel. Here, with the resolution and texture size knobs, you can control the overall resolution and the size of your textures. You can also adjust your frame rate and FPS, depending on the style you want. Now let's move into the detailed and more advanced parts of the Plugin. We're going into the cut section. Here, you can add different layouts to your footage, almost like your clip is being sliced into pieces, frame by frame, and layered on top of each other. It creates a real mixed media feeling. You could also add different rips and borders, giving your edit that cut paper, handmade vibe, like someone actually ripped the paper with scissors. At the bottom of the cut section, you can control things like emboss, details, lines, and even the timing of how the cuts play. You can turn each one on or off and fine tune the look to match the style you want. <laughs> Now we're moving into the color section. Here, you can pick different color modes like pastel, pink wash, acid, monochrome, or sunfade. You can also tweak saturation and opacity using the knobs. Plus, you can set colors in different modes like mono, hue, color, normal, and more to really shape the look you want. Now let's check out the overlay section. Here, you can pick different overlays like scribbles, cracks, glass, and more. With the knobs, you can adjust the scale and opacity of each overlay. You can also tweak the blend mode to get the look you want. Next up is the scan line section. Here, you can adjust horizontal and vertical lines separately tweak their color and opacity, and control their blend mode. With the knobs, you can also set the gap and thickness of the lines to fine-tune the look perfectly. After adjusting any section, if you're not happy with the changes, you can always reset it with a single click. This makes it super easy to experiment without worrying about messing up your work. Next is the paint section, and this one is really powerful. Here, you can choose different spray types, each with its own style, and adjust the color and texture of the spray. With the knobs, you can also control the scale and opacity of your paint strokes, and set the blend mode to get the exact look you want. Next up is the halftone section. Here, you can add a halftone effect to your footage in different sizes. With the knobs, you can adjust the threshold and opacity, 
and set the blend mode for your halftone to get the exact style you want. Next is the borders section, and this one's awesome. You can set your borders into modes, layout, which frames the whole scene, and subject, which wraps around your subject. You can adjust the border size, and with the knobs, tweak scale, rips, and notches to perfect the look. For the subject mode, one go to your composition and select the area where you want the border. To roto your subject and hit the freeze button. 3. Duplicate that layer and turn off the lower layer's visibility. For return to the MXM composition, open the subject section, select the roto layer, and hit select. Now your border is perfectly applied around your subject. At the bottom of the main panel, you have load, save, and camera shake. You can tweak your resolution and high raise settings here, add effects, and with save, store all your settings as a preset. Later, use load to quickly apply these presets to any composition. You can also choose arches, dash, and angular options in the cut section and apply them to the frames you've created. Just go back to your composition, add the new frames, set the position and scale properly, then return to the MXM composition. This time, select a new layout, tweak the color and plugin options, and create a new preset. I've included the presets I made in this video in the description, so after getting the plugin, you can use them directly. And that's it for MXM2. This plugin really opens up a whole new world for mixed media editing. Play around, experiment, and enjoy creating. See you in the next video.